What's up, Peter? How you like the new new? Jamie, he's so inventive, he's so creative. He has the crew laughing constantly. He's a great storyteller, and he's the complete character. The sequence where he thinks that Andrew was going to be black, like, that's all just Jamie improvising. That's not written. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I don't apologize. There's got to be a black Spider-Man somewhere out there. And it adds so much humor and so much love and life that I would work with Jamie Foxx on anything. Honestly, I love the man so much. Electro's waiting on something to break, so he said, oh, let me get in, let me get mine. So that sets the table for something very interesting. All of those villains in the apartment that Peter takes them to, I mean, that's like smoking a cigarette at the gas station, pump, pumping the gas, you know? So it's an exciting thing. Oh, my God. What have you done? I liked you better before. Leave me alone. Hiding in the shadows. No, no, I was born. Green Goblin is just like, I mean, to see him work when we're on the city. Gods don't choose, we take. You <laughs> And that cackle. <laughs> I was like, oh, I mean, that's real. You know, I forgot I was in the movie. I'm sitting there with my popcorn like, this is good. Willem is just fearless, and Willem doesn't give a flying Whatever, I'm doing this. He's just like so unselfconscious as an actor, just totally free, and that's the dream. It's one of the most surreal experiences I've ever had in my life. When he becomes the goblin, he is terrifying. And in the rehearsal, he starts doing the laugh, and he's saying all of this different stuff about how much he hates Peter Parker, and we're doing this fight scene, and I just became like a five-year-old kid again, watching him in the theater. And action. Oh, what he has what? Trips. Trips. You are a walking mess. <laughs> we have the coolest job in the world. You should just swing me. Yeah. Okay. We can take a subway. We get to do some of the most exciting things that anyone could ever hope to do. The impact of being a part of something so big, it really has shifted my perspective on the world. Let's catch some multiverse, man. The fact that we all really do love each other really does come across. We started the process for the first movie in 2016. So the fact that four years later, we're still doing this, it's really fun to be wrapping it all up. The fight in Happy's condo, we were all very excited about, because I think our main baseline was just, we're going to destroy this condo. They're going through buildings. They're crashing through walls. One of my favorite sequences in the whole movie, the Green Goblin is super strong. And he can take the abuse and the violence from Spidey. So that was a really interesting and exciting avenue for us to explore. You have Willem and Tom doing a lot of their own stunts and wanting to be part of the physical process. We wanted to make a Spider-Man fight that was just, that was violent, that he's going through walls, Goblin's going through walls, we're going through floors. And we just wanted to make it as big as it could be, as well as really play that. Willem is a demented, evil character. Spidey isn't doing so good in the fight, and he's got Goblin against the wall, and he's just giving it all he can, and Willem is just doing this incredible reactions with his face, and then just stops and gives the Goblin, like, the glove, but that, like, cackle. <laughs> And everybody on set just stopped. It kind of made your hair stand on end. Whoa, that was so, so scary. scary. <laughs>